Well, let's go through our three criteria. Yeah. So first off, can tell exactly what it is. Obvious that it's Jack and the Beanstalk, and you've captured the moment perfectly. And aesthetics, she looks awesome. Yeah, we're, we're proud yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. Technical ability, I absolutely love the vine going around it. The fact that the leaves are all going in different directions. I like the fact you went for the Cyclops. Yeah. I think that's really quite cool. It's a point of difference. If I can give a bit of a shout out technical wise, you've never built a, a character this big Nothing before, have you? This size ever, no. You probably couldn't build a better first build than that. Awesome. Cool. Well done, guys. Shout out, awesome. <laughs> Smash it out. <laughs> like a grape. <laughs>
it's not so pretty, is it? <laughs> yes. The gingerbread house is the iconic moment. You've captured the moment. Now that I know exactly what it is, I can explore and see, oh, look, we've got licorice all sorts out the front. I like the seagull eating the breadcrumbs that they're clearly not going to make at home. <laughs> I'm really glad you didn't go for a witch at the front door. You mm -hmm. went for the maternal grandmother looking one. Admittedly, <laughs> she's hiding a giant knife behind her back. <laughs> sure, that's kind of scary. But then, as we explore, we we'll learn mm -hmm. the other side of what your model is, the dark side. On the inside, you've got bars on the windows. <laughs> that oven, I think, is amazing. It's the scariest oven I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and but the top of the chimney is this beautiful chocolate oven. And then underneath, we see it's the industrial child roaster 5000. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good Lego model where you've captured my attention and then you've held my attention for a long time. If I think of a classic fairy tale book from when I was a child, it was a gloomy forest with the sun shining and highlighting this magnificent and beautiful gingerbread home. And you know what? I reckon you've done it. And that's pretty awesome. Well done. We pulled off what we set out to achieve and yeah. it looks really cool. I'm really, really happy with it. It is kind of scary. <laughs> I don't really want to go in there. That's all right, we don't have to go there ever <laughs> Close again. it up. I wasn't sure if you were capable of pulling this off, and I actually think you got pretty close. <laughs> There's a few things which perhaps you did miss a little bit on. Whilst we know what the story is, you can't immediately tell that it's Jack and the Beanstalk until you get into the details. Technical-wise, it's great for a first-time character build. Wow, got to be <laughs> absolutely stoked with that. And to pull off a very different scale that you haven't been working in before in your lives, it's very different, I think it's to be commended. Well done. Mm, awesome job, guys. <laughs> Hamish has absolutely nailed it in that it's obvious what the fairy tale is. So, nice big tick there. Three quarters of a tick for technical. I like the hair and I dislike the hair. Okay. I'll tell you why I like the hair. You've got the shape and the fact that it twists and turns. I think that's fantastic. The thing is, the hair's thicker than the minifig. The column of the tower is done nicely and beautifully, but it's a happy tower. It should have been a bit more run down, scary looking. I kind of get the feel in all of this build that you just played a little safe. You can't leave anything behind in any builds, and particularly eliminations. I love the leg, particularly it's not a normal <laughs> leg, it's a Lego minifigure leg. And not just a leg, but then tons of tiny legs and around And legs it. everywhere. There's really rubbing it in. The irony of that, though, is she's not a minifig. Unfortunately, I think your force perspective is a bit lost. The castle needed to be probably only about yay high if you were to think of force perspective. With your mermaid render, you went for some really unusual colours. The lavenders in particular for the tail, they're really an odd colour in Lego. Not a lot of elements are in that particular colour. So the fact that you chose those, I was very proud of. Unfortunately, though, it bit you a little bit in the end when you're trying to put her all together in the last five minutes. The fact that she's quite unstable because of your lack of pieces, she's kind of flopped on the deck. She's lost her presence because of that, and that's going to make it a little bit difficult today. 